Good morning. Yesterday I told you the little story uh, that I had, had seen on Facebook from my friend Bob Newell of him being in a grocery store and seeing a woman deflating all of the Kansas City Chiefs uh, balloons in there because nobody was, was going to want to buy a Kansas City Chiefs uh, balloon after they lost in the Super Bowl. And I shared with you some reflections from yesterday. I want to push forward a little more today as well. I'm really now borrowing from Bob's reflections because he said, well, what an a, a interesting job that woman has. Go out there there and deflate things. Go out there and tear things up. And Bob noted that many people seem to think that that is their job in life, to deflate everybody, to harm people, to just bring them down, uh, to tear them apart. Uh, they think that maybe that is their essential worker duty, to tear people down, to, to tear uh, uh, and, and to, to deflate enthusiasm and to spread discouragement. And yet Bob said how much more powerful it would be if we would try to spread encouragement. And it reminded me of Ephesians 4, the 29th verse, where Paul tells us, Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. So easy on Facebook to see some ugly meme and post it or something that, or write something in somebody's comment that, they, that you don't like or something that you uh, uh, disagree with and try to jab them a little bit and take the air out of them a little bit. It's so easy to be a deflator, much, much harder perhaps to be an inflator, but what if we were? to make sure that no evil, my, evil talk came out of our mouths, but instead we always spoke things that would build up, that we would give grace to all of those who hear us. Reminds me of one of the, the um, Celtic poems or Celtic prayers that says that it may Christ be in the eye of everybody that sees me and may be Christ be in the ear of everybody who hears me. May Christ be seen in everything that I do and that I say and that uh, others might observe. And that is so important, and that would help us to build up. We can go around with knives and try to cut down, but how much more powerful it would be for us if we took the time this day, perhaps to pray for an enemy, maybe somebody personally in your life who is a problem for you, maybe some political or, or other uh, a public figure that just really gets under your nerves, and pray for them this day. What if you reached out in encouragement to somebody this day, particularly to somebody that you think needs encouragement, somebody that doesn't get a lot of encouragement but needs to hear your encouragement this day that they might continue, that they might be able to keep on. As I said yesterday, there's that wonderful Jewish proverb, whoever saves a single person saves the entire world. And there's a sense in which if you can encourage one person, you're bringing encouragement to the entire world. So I encourage you to do that this day. And you can do that because God is with you. Amen.